Welcome to the North Ormond Beach Community Event. This community event is part of a study that is being conducted to evaluate proposed transportation solutions for a segment of Atlantic Avenue, State Road A1A, from Granada Boulevard, State Road 40, to Sandra Drive. The study is considering safety, capacity, and multimodal enhancements along the subject corridor, while minimizing potential impacts to the natural and human environments. This presentation will provide information on recommended corridor alternatives to receive community input. The Florida Department of Transportation is looking at improvement needs along Atlantic Avenue in Flagler and Volusia counties. This study includes 3.6 miles of Atlantic Avenue, State Road A1A, from Granada Boulevard, State Road 40, to Sandra Drive. The systems approach will create harmony along the corridors and strengthen the sense of community. It will give one voice to all projects in the area. These projects also provide immediate opportunities to implement some of the recommendations that will come out of this study. The purpose of the study is to develop a shared vision of public and private stakeholders, seek community input on travel options, develop concepts and implementation strategies. The project partners are City of Ormond Beach, Lodging and Hospitality Association of Volusia County, River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization, Volusia County, and VOTRAN. Members of the public are also critically important to the study. We'd like to hear from everyone in this community, whether you're here to live, work, learn, or play. The outcome of previous studies showed that vehicle speeds are too high for the frequent driveways and pedestrian volumes, and there is significant bicyclist activity along State Road A1A throughout the day in both directions, with bicyclists riding on the shoulders or the sidewalks. There is a need for additional crosswalks. Rigorous analysis of various data sets were conducted to fully understand the corridor issues and improve the safety, mobility, and livability issues. There were 212 crashes in the study area between 2015 and 2019, of which 95% were auto crashes and the remaining 5% were bicycle-pedestrian crashes. There were two fatalities in five years on the study corridor, which highlights the need for safety improvements. There is a lack of safe pedestrian crossings along the corridor and no dedicated bike facility, and the corridor has limited landscaping and site furnishings. In addition to addressing the safety options and managing mobility speed issues in the corridor, additional landscaping and aesthetic features are desirable to integrate a greater sense of place. The corridor was divided into four sections with unique opportunities to advance and evaluate distinct alternatives. Section 1 is from Granada Boulevard, State Road 40, to south of Amsden Road. Section 2 is from south of Amsden Road to Lynnhurst Drive. Section 3 is from Lynnhurst Drive to Roberta Road, and Section 4 is from Roberta Road to Sandra Drive where the study ends. The alternatives for each section considered land use, width of the right-of-way, and other roadway characteristics. Next, we will present the alternative concepts for each section. This map shows the alternative pedestrian and bicycle facility treatments in each section. In some areas, only one alternative is viable due to right-of-way width or other roadway configuration limitations. Let us start with Section 1. Section 1 is from Granada Boulevard, State Road 40, to south of Amsden Road along State Road A1A. State Road A1A within this section is a two-lane roadway, widening to a five-lane, undivided roadway approaching State Road 40. There is a continuous sidewalk on the west side, but only a short section of sidewalk on the southern end along the east side. No raised medians or dedicated bicycle lanes are present on this section. Two beach access points are located on this section. Suggested improvements in Alternative 1 include a continuous sidewalk on the east side, a shared use path on the west side, enhanced landscape, and raised crossings with refuge islands. This rendering is for State Road A1A at Section 1 facing north. Note the continuous sidewalk on the right-hand side, east, the shared use path on the left-hand side, west, the shorter crossings with refuge islands, and the landscape improvements. 
This rendering is for State Road A1A at Section 1 at another location facing south. Note the continuous sidewalk on the left-hand side, east, the shared use path on the right-hand side, west, and the landscaped median. A second alternative is proposed on the northern part of Section 1. Suggested improvements in this alternative include a sidewalk on the east side, a cycle track or two-way separated bike lanes on the west side, curves on the road known as chicanes, and enhanced landscape. This rendering is for the second alternative in Section 1. Note the continuous sidewalk on the left-hand side, east, the cycle track on the right-hand side, west, and the landscaped buffers. Let us move to Section 2. Section 2 is from south of Amsden Road to Lynnhurst Drive along State Road A1A. State Road A1A within this section is a two-lane undivided roadway with continuous sidewalk on the west side and some on the east side. This section is lined with low-intensity residential on the west side and medium to high-intensity residential on the east side. No median or dedicated bicycle lanes are present on this section. Three beach access points are located on this section. Three alternatives are suggested in Section 2. Improvements in Alternative 1 include a sidewalk on the east side, a shared-use path on the west side, enhanced landscape, and raised crossings with refuge islands. This rendering is for the first alternative in Section 2. Note the continuous sidewalk on the left-hand side, east, the shared-use path on the right-hand side, and the landscaped buffers. Another alternative is proposed in Section 2. The improvements proposed for Alternative 2 in Section 2 include a sidewalk in the east side, a cycle track in the west side, enhanced landscape, raised crossings, and on-street parking. This rendering is for the second alternative in Section 2. Note the continuous sidewalk on the left-hand side, east, the cycle track on the right-hand side, west, and the landscaped buffers. A third alternative is proposed in Section 2. The improvement proposed for Alternative 3 in Section 2 include a sidewalk on the east side, one-way separated bike lanes on each side of State Road A1A, enhanced landscape, and new crossings. This rendering is for the third alternative in Section 2. Note the continuous sidewalk and one-way separated bike lane on each side of State Road A1A and the landscape buffers. Let us move to Section 3. Section 3 is from Lynnhurst Drive to Roberta Road along State Road A1A. State Road A1A within this section is a three-lane undivided roadway with continuous sidewalk on the west side and some on the east side. This section is lined with commercial businesses on the west side and medium-intensity residential on the east side. No median or dedicated bicycle lanes are present on this section. Three beach access points are located on this section. This section has multiple businesses with continuous driveways throughout the section, which highlight the need for a safety buffer. Suggested improvements in Alternative 1 for Section 3 include a sidewalk on the east side, a shared-use path on the west side, enhanced landscape buffer, raised crossings with refuge islands, and on-street parking. This rendering is for the first alternative in Section 3. Note the continuous sidewalk on the left-hand side, east, the shared-use path on the right-hand side, west, the landscaped median, and the buffers. This rendering is for the first alternative in Section 3 at another location. Note the continuous shared-use path on the left-hand side, west, the use of grates to widen the existing sidewalk, the curb cuts to allow the existing drainage pattern, and the landscaped buffer. This rendering shows another location view of Alternative 1 in Section 3. Note the continuous shared-use path on both sides shade trees, the landscape swales, and buffer. Alternative 2 in Section 3 only applies to the southernmost block of the section. Suggested improvements include a sidewalk on the east side, a cycle track on the west side, 
enhanced landscape, and new crossings. Let us move to Section 4. Section 4 is from Roberta Road to Sandra Drive along State Road A1A. State Road A1A within this section is a two-lane undivided roadway with sidewalks along the west side. The section is lined with commercial and residential land uses on the west side and is vacant with natural dunes on the east side. There are four boardwalks to access the beach located along this section. No median or dedicated bicycle facilities are present on this section. The suggested improvements in Section 4 include a shared-use path on the west side, enhanced landscape, and raised crossings with refuge islands. This rendering is for Section 4. Note the continuous shared-use path on the west side, the landscape median, and the buffers. We are proposing a number of innovative treatments along these corridors, such as smart lighting, high-emphasis pedestrian crosswalk lighting, and in-pavement lighting. Other treatments such as walkable tree grates, hurricane-resistant trash cans, drainage grates, textured crossings, and imprinted asphalt are recommended. As a reminder, this presentation along with other project documents, including the project brochure, alternative concepts, and 3D renderings, can be found on the project website by going to https colon slash slash www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 962200-2. The fight to end distracted driving starts with you. Make safe choices and remember to always travel safely. With that, enjoy the open house. We look forward to talking with you at the various stations around the room.